bought that pad there on the bed, and it's not that one there. <laughs> so it's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Paul Zennon and I'm in Edinburgh doing a show called Linking Rings which is on at the unearthly hour of three o'clock in the afternoon at Le Monde Hotel on George Street which is kind of a, a posh hotel but in a kind of posh spice kind of way it's quite blingy but most suited the show because it's kind of a 1920s art deco bar and that's when the show's set. Linking Rings, three o'clock. Back in the room. Yeah, the show's a, a bit of a departure for me because normally I kind of do the sort of variety cabaret things. Yeah, I was here a couple of years ago doing the clique and, and shows like that. Uh, but this is more of a sort of acting thing. It's kind of a monologue. The, the term monologue always makes it sound dull. Uh, but it's basically storytelling uh, for grown-ups and it's um, a parallel live story. I started to write a show about Houdini, who uh, actually is right-hand man, a guy called Jim Collins. Because Collins is my original surname. Uh, then I discovered, kind of, as I was writing that, there were some sort of parallels with me growing up in Blackpool in the 70s, oddly enough, working in a magic shop. Uh, so it's a kind of crossover thing, hence the title Linking Rings refers to the magic trick, but also the idea that these lives are interconnected. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, yeah, it's an arty play for a, for a novelty turn like me. And how's the Fringe been going for you so far? It's been good so far, I really enjoyed it actually, and it's kind of that, but that weird thing of having a three o'clock time slot, you're kind of packed up by 4.30 and you you know, you have to do 30 years of, uh, you know, clubs, comedy clubs, all that kind of thing. You kind of come off stage and think, I'd better hit the bar, it'll be closing <laughs> soon. And of course, you've got another 12 hours of that here. Yeah, yeah. that could end badly. It has, well, I'm 18, and look at me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so would you mind sort of showing us um, a trick? Yeah, sure. Some... I mean, the interesting thing, you know, being a, a trick monkey for a lot of years, uh, I mean, this show has hardly any magic in it. It's got one sort of main trick and a couple of little incidental bits. So uh, for, for once in my life, doing a trick's quite a novelty now. Yeah. So. Um, the problem is with card tricks, they're normally intrinsically very, very dull. However, this one is no exception. Um, so uh, examine those closely, good, done. Just, we're going to get you to grab one of those, and it's important that I, uh, it's a free choice. So just take any, any uh, you would as well, too easy. Uh, I see you have a free choice in there. Thank you. Um, okay, you might want to show the camera as well, and I'll, I'll look over here into the elaborate system of wing mirrors that we've got. And just, uh, just sign your name or initials or anything you like on the face of the card. The face, not the back. The not face. your face. Okay, yeah. got it. And well, once you've done that, stick it back in here somewhere. Okay, now oh, there are lots sorry. of ways to find your card. That's alright. There are lots of ways to. If I start shuffling like that, I could probably find it fairly easily because I could see it, right? Another way is to listen for your card. It's ridiculous. I could smell for your card, which is not being rude, it's just you signed it in market pen and I'm quite partial. <laughs> but I'm going to find it by the sense of taste. Okay, so just hold your finger out like that. What did you have for lunch today? <laughs> My tuna sandwich. Tuna, Ooh, okay. Right, hold it just there. Right. Oh god. <laughs> so what other job could you get away with? Just, just basically just harassment in the back. A girl in the back of a van, and it'd be fantastic. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> that happened. Tuna indeed, that's, that's enough now. Okay, great. Okay, good. right, and I'm going to try and get a taste for you as I've done there, but also for your car. Now, it's not that hard there on the bed, and it's not that one there. <laughs> so it's somewhere in the middle. Now, three, two, one. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a pleasure. 